out about of you. it. Yeah, like, no, it was a funny interview. I used it. I used it in its entire. Oh, really? For one of these shows, I do. Yeah. Well, don't expect anything good of this one. Well, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> well, I take it it's not based on a true story. But, uh, it is not. No, <laughs> in fact, this is all fiction. That's what people are asking. That's the first thing they want to know: is this based on a true story? And second, whose? <laughs> you know what? It could be based on a true story, but not that we know of. Right. I'm sure if it is, we'll be sued. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it just well, I don't know. I guess you would you could find out uh, someone. Is like that. What, how do you come up with a guy like this if you never really have met a forty-year-old virgin? Universal, uh, Universal actually compiled case studies of middle-aged virgins, and we read a bunch of them. Oh. And they, for the most part, were like this character: were people who, for no lack of trying or desire, just have not had sex. And uh, might have had some bad experiences and just have given up. And that's that's essentially where this guy is. Just um, had some opportunities and never was able to capitalize on them and they kind of built up in his mind and then he just stopped trying. That's just interesting. I mean, it's, it almost looks like good reading, like, what? Wow. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, but anyway, and a lot of you, well, this is changing gears completely, but you've all worked together before with Anchorman between right. that. There's always, there's a one degree of separation between all of you in this one. It seems like, yeah. And and Dave Keckner has three lines in the movie and each one is funnier than the next. So I, I would, I will work, if I, if I have the opportunity to work with any of these people again, I'd be really, really lucky. And what about Jane Lynch? Have you... You have some sort of history together, right? Yeah, I okay. knew Jane from Second City in Chicago. Okay. We worked together there. And her casting was actually my wife's idea. Because we were talking about, is it going to be a guy to play the manager? And then someone suggested a woman. And I said, well, that's, yeah, I mean, we could do that. I don't want to do it just to, just to have, like, a token woman mm -hmm. as the manager. And then um, my wife, Nancy, said, what about Jane? And that was, like, this brilliant idea and well, she, she was ex exactly right for it and uh, she she's the awesome at improv because she's known for that for if anyone knows best in show or Christopher Guest movies they're yes. all improv and I, I take it she improv her role as well on this she Although, did a lot of there was a lot of improvisation from all the everybody even if people weren't known as improvisational actors Catherine Keener mm -hmm. who is just a great actress is also a phenomenal improviser and she can take anything and go with it anywhere and and make it very real and rich and funny um, and Jane the scenes that her, her audition was actually transcribed and just put into the movie because yeah. she everything that comes out of her mouth is just kind of golden was it the uh, the, the body this body is the same body Yes. And the way she just does it with the oh. movement. Her and that, well, when we were shooting, she just started improvising that song, <laughs> that, that Spanish whatever it yeah. was that she sang to me. And that, uh, yeah, we just kind of just left everything she did in the movie. On the deadpan humor and all that. I mean, that's just... She's hilarious. Now, this being... Now, this is your first leading role. Yeah. What is, how does it feel? I mean, is it very feel weird. strange? Or? It's very strange. It's, it's surreal. It's it, like I'm driving around and I see this everywhere looming on these billboards. <laughs> and uh, I drove my, <clears throat> we drove to a mall last weekend and I just kept saying to my wife, oh, look at it. Look at that one. It's a bus. That's it. <laughs> and it, we just, it was, it was a very, very bizarre moment. And you, know, you kind of just kind of memorize that moment in time when you're driving around and your picture was all over the place. Is life changed because of stuff like this? I mean, this is just happening now. This, yeah. This, you out in the front row of the... Right. Or, you know, just you're selling the movie on top of it, too. Yeah. I don't, I don't sense that it's changed at all. I'm not anticipating it to change at all. Um, You've got other leading roles coming up. Get Smart. Is that happening? They're, uh, they're outlining it right now, and the next step will be to, to script it. So that's just probably still a ways in the future. Yeah. Well, we've been wrapped. Well, okay. Congratulations. Thanks a nice lot. I appreciate it.